going to be a wild ride in the county here over the next 24, 48 hours. A lot happening in our weather department. Steve, this is what we have been saying we need, and mm -hmm. it's finally here. The winter storm making its way into the county already. A light dusting of snow in Mount Laguna, but they could see up to 14 inches of snow by the end of the day tomorrow. It is going to be an impressive winter storm. Looking over Otai Mountain, this is one of the issues we're going to be running into tonight, and that is foggy conditions also reducing visibility. And then, of course, we add all the other factors, periods of heavy rain, possible thunderstorms, also heavy snow in the mountains, and then you're just going to be dealing with slick roadways and slow travel. Hour by hour, you can see it is going to be unsettled for the rest of the night and the intensity will be picking up as the cold front moves in. We talked about this yesterday. Once the cold front moves in, we'll see those periods of heavy rain. But even ahead of it, we're starting to see those bands of heavy rain and we're going to zoom in across the county to show you what is happening in your area. So as we look closer in our pinpoint Doppler live, you can see it is picking up in Chula Vista. And then as you travel along the 805 all the way up north, uh, Rancho San Diego also some steady rain. We head to the North County. Here's another band. This one also pretty decent. This is what we call a troublemaker because it does bring heavy rain, lower visibility very quickly, and it could lead to ponding on the roadways. That's what we called flash flooding, which is when the roads get really wet and there's those puddles out there. So please be aware. That's what we're going to be dealing with for the rest of tonight. It'll continue into the morning commute. There's the load. There's the front behind it. Very cold. They are wrapping around and that is going to lead to those heavy snow totals. As far as rain, we could see up to three quarters of an inch, up to an inch in the valleys. Deserts could get close to a half an inch of rainfall tonight. Areas of fog, low visibility and snow across the East County with strong gusty winds. And here's a visual too of what that rain is going to do tonight into tomorrow. So averaging between half an inch to over an inch of rainfall. A winter storm warning was started actually just a little bit ago at four o'clock and it will stay in effect until 6 p.m. What you see here in blue is actually a freeze watch because once the storm moves out, cold temperatures will linger and that's going to lead to temperatures potentially dropping even below freezing in our valleys by in our valleys rather by Thursday morning. You can see those heavy colors, those darker uh, pinks that indicating the potential to get over 12 inches of snow in Mount Laguna. So again, this is going to be a problematic system as far as how the roadways will be overnight into early tomorrow. Isolated thunderstorms will be possible as that cold front moves through. Temperatures will stay in the low 60s, very cold, even a couple of 30s for the coast early Thursday morning. Inland communities will average in the mid 50s tomorrow. It'll be unsettled through at least 10 a.m., but a few showers may linger into the evening hours. So our best chance tomorrow will be in the morning. Temperatures will be back in the 70s over the weekend and next week actually a little bit warmer than that. Our mountains looking at snow, blowing, drifting, low visibility areas of fog also will be another factor. And then our deserts will look at potentially getting up to half an inch of rain before we dry out and we're back in the upper 70s over the weekend. Steve. A lot to expect this week. Angelica, thank you and we will be